All right, so a plane is a two-dimensional surface which extends infinitely in both directions. And um, I want to explore what it means for it to be two-dimensional and for what it means for objects on a plane to be two-dimensional. So let's look at this idea of dimensionality. Um, the, di the dimensionality of an object, you know, whether it's one-dimensional, two-dimensional, or three-dimensional, or as you might have heard, 3D, uh, the dimensionality of an object is the number of numbers you need to describe the location of a point in the object. So I want to show you what I mean by that with three different examples here. Um, first let's look at a one-dimensional um, object, a one-dimensional space, and that's this number line. So my definition is the dimensionality of an object is the quantity of numbers, the, nu the number of numbers you need to describe the location of a point on that object. So here's a point on my number line. How many numbers do I need to describe where that point is? Well, just one. Uh, what's its location now? It's four. Um, you can't see that, can you? Let's see. Four. That's the location of this point on the one-dimensional line. So, um, so I only need one number to describe where it is. Well, let's say if I move this, um, if I look at this point on the number line, What's its location? Uh, negative, negative one. So if I just give one number, I know exactly the location on this number line that I'm talking about. And that's what makes it one dimensional. Well, let's look at this two dimensional um, space. And I've got this coordinate plane here. And this is part of a, um, part of a plane. I can't draw a full plane because the plane is infinite in extent. Um, but this is part of a plane. You can just imagine it goes on forever this way, it goes on forever that way. And that's true. Whenever you use a coordinate plane, um, you're only looking at part of the coordinate plane. Uh, actually, x goes to infinity in both directions. Y goes to infinity in the positive and negative directions. So let's look at um, these objects on, on the plane here. Uh, I've got a rectangle. So this is a two-dimensional um, shape for this reason. Uh, Let's look at a point here. Well, how many numbers do I need to describe where this point is in this shape? Um, well, let's see. So it's it's over here. So on the x-axis, it goes one, two, three. Um, so my x-coordinate would be three, and then y would be one, two, three, four, five. So to describe the location of this point in the rectangle, I need two numbers. Um, its x coordinate is 3 and its y coordinate is 5. Same, you know, if I pick this point in the triangle, um, where is that point located? Well, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, um, and the y is negative 1. So I need two numbers to describe the location of that point. Well, if I look at a three-dimensional object, and really on the screen this is two-dimensional, but I'm trying to visualize what a three-dimensional object would look like using a two-dimensional surface, so bear with me. I've got, um, so let's look at this point, let's look at this vertex here. Oh, where is that located? How many numbers do I need to describe that? Well, it's um, this far over on the x-axis, and it's um, something like let's say this far over on the y and then it's uh, this high up on the z axis. So I need three numbers to describe the location of this one point um, of this cube. So that would be a three-dimensional um, object. So looking at again at planes, why are um, shapes that we draw in planes two-dimensional? Why can they only have three dimensions? Because every point on them can be described with, uh, the location of every point on them can be described with only two numbers. And that corresponds to the two dimensions of the plane. There's uh, the x dimension, the y dimension. Um, so, or length, length and height, or, or whatever you want to call them, there's two dimensions. Um, and so you can describe the location of every point on every object with only two numbers.